So this is a video on how to quickly dump your original Xbox EEPROM with just a Raspberry Pi Pico. I've linked to everything that you might need in the video description. It's a pretty simple setup, a Raspberry Pi Pico, 24 to 30 gauge wire, and a simple soldering station. Now your Xbox needs to be disassembled. It doesn't need to be fully disassembled. It could be in the shell still, because you do want to have it powered on. Now we're going to want to start off by getting our wire prepped. We're going to want to cut four wires at about six inches. Then you're going to want to strip about a centimeter or about a half inch off both ends of the wires. Then on one end you're going to want to snip as much of the bare wire off as possible like we've done here. Now we've got one end short and one end long. We're going to want to dip the one end that's short into a little bit of your flux. Now I'm going to be using a breadboard to connect these wires to my Pico. So if you're going to be soldering it on you might want to snip your end short too. Or you could just take the long end and wrap it around the hole of the same pin that you're going to be using later on. Here I'm going to be using one of my dead Xbox boards because it's easier to record because it's fully out of the case. And what I've done is I've heated up my soldering iron to 250 degrees. And I'm just going to put a little bit of solder on the end of my soldering iron. Put a little bit of flux on the area that I'm going to be soldering. I've highlighted it in the little picture here. Now if you use the same colors as me, I'm using red for SDA, blue for SCL, and black for ground. Now it's fairly simple. What you got to do is slightly heat up the point and just touch the short end of your wire into the hot ball of solder and it should meld pretty good. Now if your Xbox didn't have any solder balls on there before, just pre-tin the area with a little bit of solder before you stick in the wire or else you're going to have a hard time getting it to stick. Now when I said 250 degrees, that's Celsius, not Fahrenheit. Now this is what it should look like in the actual Xbox. Now this Xbox had a mod chip in it, so you probably won't have header pins like this one had. Now we're going to wire up our Raspberry Pi Pico. Now I say it's for a Raspberry Pi Pico, but it doesn't have to be. Any microcontroller that actually runs MicroPython should work as long as it has I2C ports. Now since this program I writ specifically for the Raspberry Pi Pico, the only thing that's particular is that you got to use the first three pins, 0, 1, and 2. So the first one is the red one, SDA. The second one is the blue one, SCL. And the third one is ground, which is black. Now we'll quickly test to see if the Xbox is working still. We'll plug it in and turn it on. It'll flash funny colors. Perfect. Unplug it again and jump to the computer. So in the video description, I've linked to the GitHub repo that I posted. Everything that you're going to need for the Raspberry Pi Pico, just click code and download zip. You're also going to want to download the Thony IDE. And if you already don't have one, get an Xbox EEPROM reader, which I've linked to here. So for Thani, just download the setup file for whatever platform you have. For the EEPROM bin reader, just scroll down to the release section and download the release zip. Now we can jump to the downloads folder and we're going to extract the two zip files that we just downloaded. One being the Xbox dumper that I posted and the other the Xbox EEPROM reader. Now once the files have finished extracting, I'm going to copy the main folders to my desktop just because it's going to be easier to locate later. And I'm going to start installing Thony IDE for all users. Now installing Thony IDE is really easy. It doesn't need any special settings or anything. So we're just going to let it do its thing. And before we close out of everything, might as well if this has helped you out, leave a star on my GitHub page. Now that everything is almost ready, we're going to get our Raspberry Pi Pico going. And to get that plugged in, before you plug it in, just press the button on the top of the Raspberry Pi Pico and then plug in your USB. Now on your computer, you should see a folder pop up. Just close this guy down and we're going to open up Thony. Now if the folder didn't pop up, just unplug and try again. Now in the bottom right corner of Thani, click Configure Interpreter. 
Now make sure MicroPython Raspberry Pi is selected and then install update MicroPython. Here you're going to select whether it's a Pico H or Pico W, Wi-Fi or no Wi-Fi. And finally the version of MicroPython, which the latest version is fine. And finally click install, it should only take a couple seconds. Then you could close and click OK. You'll know if you did everything correct if you see the Raspberry Pi Pico at the bottom here. Now we can minimize Thani and we're going to open up the Xbox EEPROM dumper repo and we're going to open up the Python file that I wrote and we're going to open it up directly into Thani. Now I'm going to maximize the serial console at the bottom just so you can see what's going on. You don't need to do this. Now we jump to our Xbox and turn it on. We got to let it boot for about 10 seconds before we press play on Thani. And that's it. The EEPROM should be saved to the Pico and to view it just click view and click files and then click on the EEPROM bin and save to your local directory. Now to get the file just go to your file explorer and we'll go to the C drive. Then you should go to your users and whatever user you're under right now and it should be right here under EEPROM bin. We'll copy that right to the desktop and then we can open up the EEPROM reader. Now I didn't write this program but I know it doesn't have any viruses so I'm just going to continue on. Now we just load the EEPROM.bin and to double check that it worked we're going to see if the serial number on the bottom of the Xbox matches the serial number on the screen here and if it does there you go. Now I would only use this tool to dump the EEPROM to unlock or lock your hard drive of an Xbox. I wouldn't do this to actually flash back on to the EEPROM because I don't do any kind of error checking at all. I know there's a lot of other tools out there already that'll do this, but this one I think is actually the simplest to use. So if it helps you out, hey, throw a like and subscribe. I'll be doing more videos on the Xbox and the Raspberry Pi Pico down the road.